Hi guys. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Suvi Mahonan and I'm a journalist based on the Gold Coast in Australia. One of the highlights of my career has been the privilege of writing extensively about infrared light therapy and how it can improve the quality of life of people with Parkinson's disease. Recently, I broke the news in The Australian that infrared light can improve our gut's microbiome. In a clinical trial involving Parkinson's patients from Brisbane, Adelaide and Sydney, researchers found that exposure to infrared light significantly improved the health of participants' gut microbiome, which may be related to their Parkinson's symptoms also improving. Whenever one of my stories about infrared light therapy for Parkinson's is published, the most common question I get from readers is how do I administer this therapy to myself? Well, if you keep watching, I'll show you how to in this video. The exact mechanisms of how infrared light therapy can promote healing is still being researched, but we do know that exposure to red and infrared light can trigger cellular responses, such as upregulatory effects, which trigger repair processes and conditioning of the tissue against further future insults. Studies have found that red and infrared light applied to the head can promote neuroprotection, help prevent toxic protein accumulation in the brain, and improve production and regulation of neurotransmitters. The science of light therapy is incredibly complicated and research is ongoing into how clinicians may utilize this therapy for best effects. In the meantime, what do you do if you have Parkinson's disease and you wanna try this therapy for yourself? Well, there are several tried and trusted options available to you and we'll go through these now. The first and most cost-effective option is to build your own device. A homemade device is what the man who featured in my original 2017 article in the Weekend Australian magazine, Max Burr, used to successfully treat his Parkinson's disease. His original device was constructed out of an aluminium foil covered lampshade lined with strips of LED bulbs that emitted red light at a wavelength of 670 nanometers. He now uses an aluminium foil lined bucket, which has strips of both 670 nanometer and 810 nanometer LED lights inside of it. Max has experienced remarkable improvements in his Parkinson's symptoms, as have many other people who have used similar homemade devices. This blog here, titled Red Lights on the Brain, gives instructions for how to construct a homemade light hat. The original one is the bucket named Eliza, and the newer model is the Cossack, as you can see here. If you scroll down this page, you can actually find a link here, um, and if you click on this, you'll be taken to a PDF of the exact instructions, step-by-step, step, including what you need and how to do it. This is a really low cost way to get red and near infrared light onto your head. And the suggested protocol is to use your homemade device at least once a day for up to 20 minutes at a time. You can read the Red Lights on the Brain blog, which is written by a retired medical practitioner who, along with her physicist husband, are the creators of the original homemade light hats in Tasmania. The second option, which is also budget friendly, is to buy a light hat made by the Dorset Men's Shed, which is based in Tasmania. When the shed's treasurer, who has Parkinson's disease, heard about these homemade light hats, members of the shed went ahead and built one. Word of this spread around the community and they were asked to build more hats. The shed began to formally make the light hats for members of the public in April 2018. And since then, they've made more than 650 light hats and shipped them all over the world. Light hats cost $300 Australian plus postage. So this is a post from the Dorset Men's Shed Facebook page and you can see them uh, wearing these homemade light hats here. And if you're interested in buying one of these hats, you can actually just contact Merv Chilcott directly on mrc777 at Pond. Dot com. And I've actually spoken to Merv and he says the men's shed has received overwhelming positive feedback from people who have bought one of these hats and are experiencing benefits from it. The third option is to buy a headpiece like this one from V-Lite. V-Lite is a Canadian company that has supplied infrared light devices for various trials. The Neurogamma device, which you can see here, 
was used on Adelaide participants in the most recent Parkinson's trial that I reported on in The Australian. The recommended usage is once daily, six times a week, and each treatment is pre-programmed to last for 20 minutes. The positives of choosing this option is obviously the fact that these are the very same devices that have been used in successful trials for Parkinson's patients. There is also a six month satisfaction guarantee with an 80% refund if you're not happy with the device. The negative is they are relatively expensive as you can see here. If you are interested in, th in this option and you live in Australia, you can contact Pulse Laser Relief on 1300 886 929 or send them an email inquiry. The fourth option is to buy a handheld laser. The plus side of this option is that you can use the device to treat other areas of your body such as your abdomen, as the Australian trial showed that an improvement in the gut's microbiome may have been linked with improvements in participants' Parkinson's symptoms. If you're going to use a handheld laser, you need to make sure it emits infrared light if you want to improve the gut's microbiome. Many devices will emit both red and infrared light, such as my Handy Pulse laser that I use here at home. This Handy Pulse laser, which is fantastic for joint pain and skin issues and muscle soreness, has not been used in any clinical trials for Parkinson's as the power output is only 5 milliwatts as compared to the 30 milliwatt power output of the lasers which were used in the trial. But I just wanted to show you what a handheld laser looks like. This is the actual laser that was used on Sydney participants in the Australian trial who received 20 minutes of infrared light to their abdomen and neck only and showed a significant improvement in their gut microbiome and Parkinson's symptoms. The laser was designed by a team led by coordinator of photomolecular research at the Australasian Research Institute, Dr. Anne Liebert, who is one of the principal researchers looking at how infrared light can help with Parkinson's disease. As you can see on their website, for patients with Parkinson's disease, they do also recommend a red light helmet device, which can be purchased from their research collaborators at WellRed. They can offer a discount if you buy both devices together. They also recommend the V-Lite devices if that's an option you want to go with. So, which device should you buy? Well, all the devices I've shown you today have a proven track record with users to provide benefits for their Parkinson's symptoms. So if I were you, I would look at your budget and also a realistic expectation of your usage. If money is an issue, I would actually go for the light hat made by the Dorset Men's Shed. Um, these are simple to use and operate and you can just sit and watch telly with the device on your head for 20 minutes every day. But if you can afford it and you're committed to using both devices, then the combination of a headpiece and laser may give you greater benefits and is definitely backed by science. And like I said, the advantage of a handheld laser is you can treat other areas of your body, such as your abdomen, um, aching joints, that sort of thing. Um, Whichever device you use though, you can rest assured that red and infrared light will be giving you benefits and it's a perfectly safe treatment with no known side effects. So leave me a comment below and tell me which device you'd prefer to use for your condition and... Don't forget to like, subscribe and subscribe. Bye! See ya, bye!